Well, um, illegal drugs have always been there, and they have always attempted to use the postal network to, to transmit these illegal drugs. It's nothing new for us. And we have had rules and regulations uh, covering this area where we advise our member countries and train our staff in the postal networks globally to be able to identify them and deal with them. So uh, they pop up from time to time in one place or the other, but this is something which is uh, within our knowledge and experience to be able to identify and handle and deal and we train our staff to be able to do that. The UPO is a, an intergovernmental agency uh, that deals with the postal network throughout the world. Uh, we set uh, treaties and we set uh, rules and regulations for our member countries to be able to, to, to uh, create you know, a, a single postal territory. So these rules protect uh, also deal with these issues with, uh, with narcotics and uh, illicit drugs and also other uh, you know, inadmissible items we put through the postal networks. So we have treaties and rules and regulations that we, we develop and then we, we disseminate this to our member countries and uh, train them and help them on the ground to be able to protect the, the, the network. We work with uh, many different agencies uh, to be able to uh, protect ourselves from these kind of things. We know we deal with World Customs Organizations, they look at all the items we, we, we put through the, uh, our system or networks and therefore, of course, if there are any prohibited items, they will be able to identify and, 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 and stop them. Uh, the agreement we have signed today with the, uh, our anti-narcotic uh, organization here is a classical example of how we work with other, uh, I mean, agencies uh, that, uh, uh, whose responsibility is to ensure that you know we don't have this kind of illicit uh, uh, items put through the, uh, our networks. So the security and safety of the postal uh, supply chain is very, very important and it's on top of our mind. And we work with every other organisation, so the border uh, agencies, the, the security agencies, the airlines and also the customs authorities as well as the, 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 these uh, narcotic uh, organizations. And we put our heads together, we develop rules and regulations, we, they help us uh, train our staff, identify issues uh, where we need to strengthen our, our network uh, security and so forth. So uh, this is uh, not the first and not going to be the last organization we're going to work to, to protect our, our supply chain network.